Hello everyone. Today we will learn one more tool from the sheet metal environment in Creo parameter that is uh, flat. Okay, so uh, similarly uh, I will create one sketch here for the planar first. Escape it and then I will provide the dimensions. and then click OK. Just select the planar. Then I will keep this as it is here. And then now you can use the flat here. Now it is enabled. So just select the flat. So there are different types of uh, flat here. Uh, the first one is a rectangle. Second is a trapezoidal. And this is a L shape uh, flat. The T shape flat flat and then last one is the user defined flat so there are some options here available here so first uh, we will we will create a rectangle rectangle flat and just select the edge here if we select this edge then the flat will come in the downward direction uh, let us select the downward edge here it will create a flat on the upwards, upward direction. So I just select this face here. Now here uh, you can change this angle. You can also change from this option here that is 67 degree or you can change it. Okay. You can change the length here by just dragging this uh, point let's say 90 degree click enter so you can change the sketch here and go to shape and you can modify the sketch from here also so let us say 190 degree, sorry 190 length, 190 mm, and then click OK. So it will be as a 190. Here this option will uh, change the thickness to the other side, just thickness inside and outside. So this option just add a bend at the attachment edge. So you can see here is no bend, and now if you click this, it will add it the bend here. Some options available here that the, 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 the dimensions for the thickness. That is a bend value. That is two into thickness. Now it is two into thickness. Just is equal to thickness. Here some options available are, this is the dimension dimension on the outer surface of the bend. Similarly, this is dimension on the inner surface of the bend. And this is by default the dimension on the inner surface of the bend. So these are the different options available for the flat. So you can also add the relief. So let's say if you... If Let's say if you have this uh, flat here inside. So now you can have this uh, relief here. Let us change the relief to the rectangular. So you can now see here there is a rectangular relief is added. And you can add the dimensions here. So you can uh, change this. Similarly, the all brown option is there, all brown. If you have this all brown on this side also, then you can change it. So 
we have to change it to tangent tangent to the bin I'll change it tangent to the bin and now you can see the brown relief is added to this flange so there are bin allowances uh, you can give the k factor uh, y factor here you can use the bend table also and you can add the offset distance here you can add by value let us say 0 it will show as it is that is 0 offset if you add 10 then the 10 value is added you can see here there is a offset is applied to this flange to the sketch and you can just change here the sketch just add 50 and just click ok so in this way you can change this you can play with these options, different options available. And then click OK. Now there are some more types of flats are available here. That is a rectangle. So first we will again see this is a rectangular. The second option is a trapezoidal. So the trapezoidal uh, Cage is available with this flat. You can change this to just change its angle, let's say 35 degree, and it will become it will change. As you can change this angle, let's say 65 degree. Here also you can add. The reliefs, let's say rectangular reliefs, you can see here the rectangular reliefs are added. Now there is a L, L shape. So you can change these uh, sizes according to your requirement there are some more options the T shaped flat. So let us select this edge here. Now you can see here the T shaped flange is created. So similarly, here you can change the dimensions, you can change the angle, let's say at 45 degree. This way you can create these flanges. One more option that is the uh, user defined options. So you can uh, change in this rectangular also. You can change it into the rectangular. So let us I will close this. Then I will edit this definition. So go to shape and go to the sketch. I will delete this vertical and now I can modify this according to my need now you can uh, see here it is turned as a user defined flat 
just click OK. So you can see this change. So in this way you can use this uh, flat tool in Creo Parametric Sheet Metal. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos.